if you give it one. I didn't give it, I just showed you that. Uh, now, I'm going to show you something that's actually quite confusing. It's tough to do. It's going to be an area trigger. Okay, so, we're going to delete some of these. And now I don't want these to loop anymore, so I'm just going to go back. Oh, I don't want them to loop anymore, so I'm going to go back into Edit and Waypoints. So, that's where the thing was. I'm going to go to APC Circle, that's what it was. And I'm going to say Do Not Loop. So now they're not going to loop, and it just it goes from here to here to here. Uh, so now that's the route it's going to take now it's going to stop there it's going to stop there once it gets there now what an area trigger does is it tells once an object enters an area trigger you can tell you can pretty much command anything on the map to do anything so what I'm just okay so for example this uh, the truck goes through and it ends up in an area trigger here that I will put in in a second and I'll say when the vehicle enters that area trigger so and so dies so as soon as it enters that my good buddy here just dies he freaking falls down and dies I mean simple um, or and there are a million options but you can what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it, once it gets there, to move to a different set of waypoints. So, first I have to set the other waypoints. So, I'm going to go insert waypoint. Waypoint. We'll just do two waypoints there. Actually, you know what? We're going to make it come all the way back to where we are. And I'm also going to make the vehicle fast because it was slow. So I'm going to go in the item attributes, and we're going to go unarmed fast. So it's it's going to happen quicker than before because last time it was pretty slow. So we're going to go into waypoints here. I'm I'm setting what these are now. I need to give it a name. So I'm going to go waypoints one and two are taken. So I'm going to go to three. I'm going to do second APC route, and we don't want it to loop. Blue and red there now we need to name them give them that title so select them all go to second APC route and there you are and this time I didn't make the lines blue I made them orange or I left them orange didn't change it so right now this truck is just gonna stop there and it's not gonna go here because I didn't tell it to so in order to put area triggers you need to insert and you need to make a box so there are two points for an area trigger just insert and it's also in markers so in this insert menu you go to markers and it's the very first one and it'll say area trigger so you put that and that's just a little blue dot and if you select it it's yellow and we're gonna select another one put another one down there so now you have two dots you have to do the same thing as a waypoint you have to go into edit but this time you go to area triggers now it's the same kind of menu. You go to number one, we're going to call it um, APC Change Route. So it's going to, this is going to make it change the route. And we're going to make the lines red. Yeah. Alright, so now we have that. Now we need to give these guys the title of that. So you select them both, go into item attributes. And instead of waypoint, like the waypoint thing, and it gives a list you have to find out the number that it was and it was number one so we're just going to do number one and now this has been given number one this is APC change route and since I made a box and you can make this box any size you want like that like that so right now it's going to enter that so still so we made an area trigger but it hasn't told this vehicle what to do yet so in order to do that to tell it to come over here we have to go into edit we have to go into events so this is the events and this is what's gonna happen what it's, it's telling it what to do so you go to event zero that's pretty much number one and you go here new trigger you double click and it'll say trigger type 
you say SSN because that's the vehicle is an SSN it's just it's an SSN and then trigger condition you say area trigger and then you go to so that's that's set up now so SSN when it goes into the area trigger uh, you go into trigger variables here you say SSN you have to say which SSN it is so it is the APC here you click that so now it knows what is going to go in there and change direction then you go to area and that's the only waypoint or uh, area trigger we have so you select that and it's the APC change route so right now we have when SS when the SSN the APC is within area one which is in the first area trigger then and now we do the actions where we want it to go we say redirect SSN so we want to redirect the SSN to the other place so redirect and we pick which SSN it is again our personnel carrier and then we tell it which one to go to and it's the second APC route that's the second waypoint group that we want it to go to and it'll say waypoint number so that's which point in that waypoint group you want it to go to you just say nearest unless you want it to go to a specific one but it doesn't matter uh, so right now we have it done we have say when SSN is within area one when the APC is within the first area trigger redirect the SSN to nearest in waypoint list three so that's what it is we just told it to go to the other one you press OK and now the event is set this vehicle will follow this stop in here and once it gets in there it will start going over here that's what we just did um, now if you don't want it if you want the vehicle to sit there and wait for however long you have to go back into events and see go to the event here which is event zero and you say delay in seconds and you say delay well, I don't know five seconds so what it's gonna do is it's gonna sit there inside this zone for five seconds and then right after that it's gonna send it over here so like I said this is confusing and I'm sorry if I don't explain it well enough if you have any questions just comment uh, and we'll show you what it looks like So in my other maps, I'm pretty sure um, I had about 12 different area triggers doing multiple different things, and I had about uh, 10 or 15 sets of waypoints for all different kinds of SSNs. It's it's very confusing. Anyways, here we are. Here comes the APC faster than before and right now it's going through the first bunch of waypoints and you'll see it stops. see it's finished its that first route it's gonna wait for five seconds then it's gonna start going again see there it is and now it's coming over to the other group and it's finished there you are I told it to go after it came into the area trigger. I told it to go to the nearest in this group of waypoints. Uh, unfortunately, I wanted it to go this way, but this one was the nearest from this area trigger, so it just went straight there. But that's how you do area triggers. Um, now, when you're in the menu in the events, you could do another event with the exact same area trigger, so you could say. Um, when the SSN is in the area trigger and the SSN is the APC doo -doo -doo. so it's the same thing as the other one when the SSN is in that first area but you could tell it to do something else you could say kill SSN and you could choose the SSN it could be one of your teammates or like I said before and my next buddy uh, it could be anything and you have almost infinite options what you could do 